Hello, so in this video I'm going to do a review of this book, The Power of Geography by Tim Marshall, 10 maps that reveal the future of our world. So this book looks at 10 regions and it explores the impact that the geography of those regions has had on their history and then kind of takes it forward to look at the impact the geography may have on the future of those regions and the world in general. So the 10 regions are Australia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, the UK, Greece, Turkey, the Sahel, Ethiopia, Spain and space. So some of these regions I knew a fair bit about, others I didn't know much about at all. So it was really fascinating having that kind of global outlook. Um, and what the book does each chapter gives a kind of quick run through of the history of each of these regions, as well as talking about the geography of them. And as I said, the way that that could impact on future geopolitics, future potential conflict, issues to do with natural resources as well. Um, and there's a very, very brief quote I'm just going to read here, which I think kind of illustrates the way that this uh, book thinks about things. Um, it's talking about the Sahel, which is the region just south of the Sahara Desert in Africa. And it says, one of the key factors driving current events and conflicts is the particular way in which geography, history and the creation of nation states have collided. And I really, really like that as an idea. I think it's really fascinating the way that geography, history and the creation of nation states have collided. And it really got me, this book really got me thinking about you know, the importance of geography in history. And if you think about British history, for example, if you think about key events in British history, the Norman Conquest, the Spanish Armada, the Industrial Revolution, these events were very much influenced by the the geography of the region. If you think about the expansion of, of British um, overseas trade and, and the empire and colonies, it's very, very much influenced by geography. Um, so that kind of interconnectedness between history and geography, um, I find really, really interesting. And this book really, really emphasised that, as well as giving, as I say, this kind of global picture. So I'm sure you can tell I, I really enjoyed this book and I'd strongly recommend it to uh, students of history, students of geography, people who are interested in international relations, geopolitics, potential kind of issues in the future in, in terms of the world. And also the final um, section is on space. So that was fascinating how space um, may become a future kind of battleground or in terms of resource collection and, and countries potentially working together to gather new resources. I thought that was really fascinating. Um, so yeah, I'd be very interested to know what people think. If you've read it, you know, let us know in the comments. And also, um, what do you think about this interconnectedness between history and geography? Um, and the way that those things intertwine. This really emphasised that to me, and it's something I've thought about a little bit before, but I think it's it's certainly a, a really, really interesting area to explore further. So, um, yeah, let us know if you've got any other books that do something similar. I'd be really, really interested to hear about them. Thanks so much for listening.